this will be to your liking. If you approve, La Che would like to add this dish to the menu. Mmm. dish like this in my country will feed an entire family. Yeah, you know, a couple can share a dish like this. A couple is how many? Mm -hmm. Two. Two, I was thinking 12. I like it. We're gonna put it on the menu. What's the name of this thing? It's Ocha. Let me see, let me, let me, let me, let me. We're gonna serve it here. I should be able to pronounce Coxsackie. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I can't read this. She was having a seizure when she wrote it. Who, who cocky? Who cocky? Dude, I didn't get it on your face. It's Ocha Uke, a plain white rice with green tea, topped with rice cracker pellets, shredded nori seaweed, pickled plum, and salted salmon bits. I don't see any rice. It still looks like chicken soup. There's rice in there. I think it'll make an excellent appetizer. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You can pair it with a nice sake. Get your mind out of the gutter. I didn't say bukkake. It's a good point. Dum -ba, dum -ba, dum -ba, dum -ba, dum -ba. Hey. Where the heck have you been? Where do you think I've been? I've been here all day. I've been calling you. Listen, you Olivia. Gotta not, you gotta call all of this off. I'm not calling anything off. I am tired of the rat race, okay? You wipe out Connie's college fund? You borrow money from loan sharks? Have you lost your mind? Hey, everybody has got to eat, all right? And? And, okay, you see all these fat people walking around out here? You ever walk up to a fat person and ask them, hey, you know where I can get something good to eat? And they say no. No, they don't say no. You know why? Because fat people are always eating, like every hour. So they might as well come in here and eat. And then you muck it all up by inviting Anton? Anton? Not Anton Anzel, the executioner? Yeah, the guy from the newspaper. The paper? The paper you're referring to, sir, is the Daily Times. The guy is a Pulitzer Prize winning food critic. <gasps> the critic with the power to lay waste and destruction in his wake just with his words. Oh, great, maybe I should fix him up with my ex. Did you run with scissors a child as well? <sighs> Are you kidding me? <sighs> I feel faint, I need a drink. Then what is this? Water. Water? No, do me a favor. Hop on a plane, go into the deep south, find anybody with the name Billy Bob and get me a jar of white lightning. What? Tennessee hooch, whiskey, I don't care. Get it. Mountain Dew. All right, hold on, hold on. Are you kidding me with this? I'm okay. I'm, a, you know, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> We're going to be great. It's going to be fine. It's under control. I need a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? What for what? If we're cooking for Anton Anzel, we need the absolute best ingredients and products money can buy. I have a connection in Chinatown. Chinatown. What are you talking about? Nothing, what, huh? <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? Well, I was really bored and I had nothing better to do. Plus, I really love his car. Yes, he does have a nice ride. <laughs> Hello, ladies. What are you two beautiful ladies doing here? Come here often? Can I ask you girls a question? Um, yeah, go ahead. Is it true that they say blondes have more fun? Oh my God, I can't believe you asked that. Listen, buddy, you better turn around and walk back right where you came from. I know the type, I know the type. Hey, what'd you do that for? He's kinda cute. Yeah, but when I saw the disaster he pulled up with, oh my God, what a loser. No, she. Oh, she. Ciao, Bella. Oi, she. Oi, she. Ciao. Arrivederci. 
Uh, yeah, I, uh, I hear you're a man who knows how to get things. Yes, I've been known to locate certain things from time to time. Well, we need to make a meal fit for a king. Well, then you will need top of the line products. Yes, we do. Let's start with something magical here, okay? Milk fed veal and beef. These calves and cows were fed the richest of milk, formulated with proteins and added vitamins. The masseurs of Yumeho have taken very well care of these animals. They've massaged them, they've relaxed their muscles, they've restored body symmetry, and they're harmonizing meridian energy. As you can oh. tell, you can okay, cut that's great. this with a butter knife. It yeah. tastes so much better okay. when you kill an animal when it's in a happy state. I always felt the that way. Yes, when, when you kill them when they're anxious and panicked, there's a certain taste, there's a certain gain to it that we don't like. Here, we have a giant red snapper. Oh, snap back or it will attack. Red <laughs> snapper, it was raised and uh, caught off the northern city of Oma in Japan. Can you say perfection on a plate? Okay, yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we were looking to do a meat and a fish, but I was hoping to do a seafood. You know, what else do you got in the van back there? When a fish smells fishy, there's something fishy. I don't like that comment. Let me explain to you why. There's everything that you need in here. I know top chefs who would give their left arm gladly, sure. gladly for just a third of what's in here. The Sultan of Brunei contacts me directly himself to stock his kitchen. I will not stand here and be insulted. It's, it's ridiculous. Let's go. No, 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 no. We are cooking for Anton Anzel! That's yes, and I am Mario Batali. No, 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 what, are you, something wrong with he you? He was invited on the opening night of this restaurant. Are you sick? Is, are you sick? Is there something wrong with you, Cuckoo? No. He's this coming. Is, we this need is your serious. help. This is unprecedented. This is unprecedented. This, this, could, this has never happened before. I say let's get out of here, boss, before somebody sees us. Come on. No, no. If they succeed, we can finally get out of the black market. Exactly. Your reputation already precedes you, right? But if we succeed, that would make you a god among men. No price you ask would be too high. And then we could sell them the Aragosta di un dio. What is it? God lobster. That I know you, eh? Oh, I'm a tokongolo! What is it? How big is it? Six years ago, I had a scientist breed me the perfect lobster. Kind breed of that... genetically altered. Well, that sounds Quiet. fantastic. I mean, tell me more. Cause... Quiet! Okay, shush! No, what we did was the man succeeded, even though the FDA tried to crush him and ruin him. They even took away all his test samples, but I kept one sample and I fed him and I nurtured him with the finest of foods and it has grown. You killed the shark. Allegedly, no one actually saw it, but if it did, I'm very proud of that. I'm okay with that too. Listen, we'll take it. We'll take that, we'll take it. That's wonderful. Will you bring cash? Sure. And bring an extra man. You'll need it. Okay. You know what? I need a cigarette. I, but I can't have a cigarette because I quit smoking. And you know why I quit smoking? Because I bought this restaurant. Oh, and I forgot. You can't smoke in restaurants anymore. That's okay. I'm not going to freak out. What's done is done. Salki, no jean, who chef, good oil, am lamb, Godzilla, lasso. What did he say? Did he say Godzilla? <laughs> no. I don't know what you think you heard. I mean, I'm the one who speaks Vietnamese. <laughs> oh, as you know, we have a food critic tonight, so we figured we'd keep it simple. Stupid. Yeah. Lobster Thermidor. Gong Lam, Godzilla, Lobster, Lam, you famous Lam, Yum Yum Yum, Gong Wa. Oh, I can't wait to prepare this grand meal. People from all over will come after we get a grand review in the newspaper. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Ansel, very nice to meet you. Please don't touch me. Welcome to Jack's Bistro. Jack's Bistro. Very creative. Thank you. I came up with that. This way.
welcome. May I suggest something? Please. Lobster Thermidor. Now our lobsters are bigger than most. What we like to do is we like to combine this savory bechamel sauce with a little bit of shallots, white wine, and tarragon, a little bit of mustard. And you know, we reinsert that, that meat. Did I do that? No, 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 I'm sorry. That was, that was me. Okay. <laughs> a little clumsy. I don't want to You get it! I'm not touching that ball! Uh, where was I? Uh, 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 you were gonna... I, you were about to, uh, uh, reinsert, reinsert, reinsert. Reinsert. reinsert, reinsert. Yes. So this succulent lobster meat, we like to gently and carefully reinsert it into that hard shell. And we like to add a little uh, Gruyere cheese on top and place it in that hot stove until that is so golden. Now, I know a lot of restaurants don't do the French recipes, but I gotta tell you that, that who can beat the little golden rich chunks of cheese with the lobster? I mean, this is what life is made of, don't you agree? Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> you make it sound all really, really intriguing. Yes. Excellent choice. I, I get a cup of really cold water when you get a chance. <laughs> That's it. All we can do now is wait. Oh my god, I've never seen a lobster that big before. Did anyone take a picture? It's already got 800 hits on YouTube. I mean, I can't believe he ate the whole thing. Anybody got a picture of that? Do not put that on YouTube. You know, my sister had triplets, her stomach was smaller. His belly is about to burst. Good boy. Do that. Good boy. Oh my god. I, I can't believe it. He's moving. Somebody call an ambulance. They got here 10 minutes ago. Is he going to make it? Ah, uh, he's on his feet. He's swaying, but he is on the move. Bye bye now, fat fuck. Mr. Ansel, very nice to meet you. Please don't touch me. Welcome to Jack's Bistro. Jack's Bistro. Very creative. Thank you. I came up with that. This way.
think it's easy. Oh. You can take it. Welcome. May I suggest something? Please. Lobster Thermidor. Now, our lobsters are bigger than most. What we like to do is we like to combine this savory bechamel sauce with a little bit of shallots, and white wine, and tarragon, a little bit of mustard. And you know, we reinsert that, that meat. Did I do that? No, 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 I'm sorry. That, that, was, that was me. Okay. <laughs> a little clumsy. Wait, I don't want to divide me. You get it! I'm not touching that claw. Uh, where was I? Uh, 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 you were gonna... Uh, you were about to, uh, uh reinsert, reinsert. 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 Reinsert, yes. So this succulent lobster meat, we like to gently and carefully reinsert it into that hard shell. And we like to add a little uh, Gruyere cheese on top and place it in that hot stove until that is so golden. Now, I know a lot of restaurants don't do the French recipes, but I gotta tell you that, that who could beat the little golden rich chunks of cheese with the lobster? I mean, this is what life is made of, don't you agree? Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. You make it sound all really, really intriguing. Yes. Excellent choice. I, I get a cup of really cold water when you get a chance. <laughs> That's it. All we can do now is wait. Oh my god, I've never seen a lobster that big before. Did anyone take a picture? It's already got 800 hits on YouTube. I mean, I can't believe he ate the whole thing. Anybody got a picture of that? Do not put that on YouTube. You know, my sister had triplets, her stomach was smaller. His belly is about to burst. Walk, walk him. Good boy. Do that. <laughs> Good boy. Oh my god. I, I can't believe it. He's moving. Somebody call an ambulance. They got here 10 minutes ago. Is he gonna make it? Ah, uh, he's on his feet. He's swaying, but he is on the move. Bye bye now, fat fuck. Dum 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 d